11,000 watts. Looks like we did no more than 11,000 watts. Do a little more than that now.
what it do e world crisscross and wires back with another video today i wanted to know just how capable my rz was with just a stage one modification and stage one modification basically meaning just a controller upgrade now i've tested three different small control well two different small controllers and one really good controller on this bike and obviously the really good controller is doing a good job even at a low amount of power even with the stock 3000 watt motor uh why i think it's a y motor or some, something with a y because i didn't get the qs variant and uh I believe it's the 3000 watt one because uh, the phase wires on it are really, really tiny. They're like little noodles. Uh, I think they may be 10 gauge. They're really small. And like I said, you can see this motor has no uh, no writing or anything on it. The QS motors have that little, like, little silver striping on it. Uh, I'm pretty sure the QS motors are probably a better motor. You know, um... Uh, I'm I'm probably going to uh, end up changing those phase wires regardless. Uh, I've just been a little lazy about it. But anyway, in the meantime, uh, not too disappointed with the performance that we're getting so far. And if you look at it like this, now... Obviously, this bike will cost a little more than uh, uh, to someone else than what I paid for it because I was able to get the bike with uh, no battery. So, no battery, you could get this bike for $1,300, just the bike. Now, that actually cost me $1,800 with shipping and taxes to the door. Uh, I already had a battery or a few batteries originally. I put a 72 volt 50 amp hour uh, Pack in here that only was capable of about a hundred amps discharge uh, Now I'm running the beast old battery pack the first battery pack I ever built with the Lachine 2100 I mean 21700 LA uh, cells which are you know almost comparable to mile cells they're 45 amp cells but uh they throttle back at high temperatures to 35 amps but it's really a good cell so uh i don't think you should run any cell to extreme high temperatures so uh that didn't matter too much and i got those cells for a good deal at the time but anyway that's the pack we have on there now which is a 20s 12p uh and yeah it's doing pretty good uh obviously the bac is not dialed up right now uh have it uh set at 17 kilowatt with about 450 phase amps and uh honestly that motor right now well it's not the motor the phase wires can't really handle that 450 phase amps if i throttle all the way down you know you can feel it bog down a little bit so I normally just roll into it so it's not a huge rush of current. But anyway, that's where we at. Uh, so yeah, this bike would definitely make more sense uh, to me than a Suron because even for someone else who purchased this bike with a battery, uh, I think you have to get the lead acids, uh, I believe. I'm not sure. I think you can get the lithium packs. Uh, I think you may have to order those online. I'm not sure how it goes because that's not how I did it. But uh, like I said, I think you can do all that for around 35, 3,800 bucks. Still cheaper than the Suron. And then you figure for that money, you can afford to buy a BAC 8,000 for about 1,000, 1,200 bucks, depending on where you go. And you're still talking five thousand uh, dollars for a bike that's highway capable now uh you know you can put a little more money to it and you know go with a 
bigger high voltage battery and then you're gonna really be able to do some things and that's the goal along with changing the motor but right now that we satisfied uh i'm gonna show you the ride footage and uh yeah you tell me uh is it you know a better option than a Suron for somebody that wants to commute back and forth to work and especially for a big guy uh I've come to grips with, uh, you know, the Beast is like the same size. Well, actually, the Beast is a little bigger than the Suron. But a beast, the Beast is still an E-Moto. And I've come to grips with my big ass is too big to really be right. I mean, I can ride on the Beast and it's fine. But, uh, you know, I, I'd much rather be riding on a bigger bike where I don't look like uh, I'm one of those bears in the circus just riding on a little bike you know you know the circus bears when they ride on little teeny ass bikes i don't want to be looking like that so anyway that's it i'll let y'all later this way we at so far stage one mod stage two up next peace